Hello, it's Dave from CoolPetBugs.com and today we're going to talk about monarch caterpillars and how to take care of them. So, as you can see, I started collecting eggs from uh, two different spots on uh, July 29th and I'm up in, uh, in Minnesota and other parts of the country you know, such as Florida and California, the monarchs are uh, breeding all year around. But uh, right now, it, it's kind of like the a busy, busy part of the year here in uh, Minnesota. So what we're going to talk about today is actually caring for the caterpillars. And what I did, I have collected all of my caterpillars... I shouldn't say caterpillars, but all my caterpillars that I have now have came from the eggs that I've collected. And I started collecting eggs. It was uh, July 29th, so it'd be a week ago. And these are a couple, some of the larger ones. But let me uh, kind of give you an idea. Here's a container. And what happens is, once you collect the eggs, you want to put it in a container, you know, similar to, to you know, it really, I mean, you can put a, a real small container, like this size here, and you just want to take the, the milkweed leaf that you've collected the egg from, Put a little bit of wet paper towel, and what that does is just keeps the milkweed, um, you know, from drying out. And then what happens is within four to six days, depending on the temperatures, the egg hatches into a baby caterpillar. And let me see if I can get a good example of a real small one. You know what? Actually, here. Here is one. I would say that one hatched about two days ago. But when they first hatch, they're completely clear. And once they start eating the milkweed, that's when they develop the stripes. So that's a real small one there. I collected that on 729. And uh, as you can see here, there's a... Uh, there's one just chewing through the uh, side here. What's real important is, you know, sometimes you'll come out and you'll see that they're very inactive and they're just kind of like hanging on the side. It's important that you do not disturb them because what's happening is the caterpillars shed their skin five separate times. So these ones here, are very, they're, they're just getting ready to shed. So you don't want to move them. So I would imagine by, you know, tomorrow, those would be a lot larger. Here's a, an example, and I try to keep all of them in about the same size. Here, there's one uh, at the top, and then you can see there's two of them. Let's see if we can get a better close up there. But they do. They eat a ton, so you you got to make sure you have a lot of available milkweed for them to eat. And they also go to the bathroom a lot, so it's very, very important that uh, every day you change the milkweed. And uh, boy, I just need, a, I think, a better uh, camera here. I apologize, but... Uh, as you can see in the bottom, all those little specks, that is 
caterpillar poop. So you want to empty that every day. And just keep everything clean because you don't want mold to build up. Here's an example of an egg I just collected on the milkweed. That was on A2 two days ago. So that should be hatching soon. And uh, we'll have a, a, a very small caterpillar. But ideally, I, I've only caught one caterpillar out in the wild. And... Uh, it was rather large, and so I do have one chrysalis already. So I, I'm hoping in a, that takes about two weeks for them to hatch. That should be hatching into an adult monarch very soon. But just to, to recap, you know, any really container will do. I, I, was, I just used deli cups. You could use a critter keeper or this round one here, a real good idea is to, today I'm going to go to the hardware store and get some uh, hardware cloth, but uh, I'm going to be moving some of those larger ones into this, and you want to keep the caterpillar off its frass, uh, which is its waste. So with this, I think this is going to really work out nice. I'm going to lay the milkweed on top of there, and then all their their poop will actually fall to the bottom. So they'll stay away or, or you know, it won't be in contact with the, with the waste. So that is something I'm going to do to, uh, this afternoon. Just put a bunch of new milkweed on top of that and then transfer the caterpillars into here. And then uh, hopefully kind of finish them out in this container and uh, they could just hang on the top like that other one. So if you have any questions, please send me an email or leave me a comment, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have.